It's a move that's sparked strong reaction from coast to coast. And tonight, we are getting a closer look at some of the responses that have poured in nearly a week after the city of Richmond became the first in California to take an official stance supporting the Palestinian people of Gaza. At an emotionally charged hearing that included five hours of public comment, the city council passed a resolution that accuses Israel of ethnic cleansing. As John Ramis reports, the city is standing by its decision amid a deluge of comments that have come in since, including threats of violence. Most cities wouldn't consider putting something as divisive as the Middle East conflict on their agenda, but this is Richmond, where it's politics as usual, and it's ignited a firestorm of anger as a result. Thank you. Um... The council meeting lasted more than eight hours. Mayor Eduardo Martinez introduced the resolution to, as he said, make Richmond the first city in America to officially condemn what's going on within Israel. We should never stay silent on the oppression of any group. The Palestinian people are currently dealing with what the United, of what the United Nations calls war crimes by the state of Israel. The resolution accused Israel of ethnic cleansing, which drew outrage from Israel supporters and sparked hours of public comments, both pro and con. People who love peace and want to see peace will salute you and will reward you in your future elections. I'm telling you right now, because this takes courage. People got to remember something. It was Hamas that started this in the first place, and Israel is going to clean house. So you people come up here and talk about what Israel did. What why don't you talk about what Hamas did? At 1 o'clock in the morning, the resolution passed by a vote of 5 to yes. 1. And ever since, those who promoted it have been deluged with hate mail. A city staffer who asked to remain nameless over fear of reprisal said in a statement, quote, The mayor's office has received many emails and calls characterizing him and the council as Nazis, supporters of terrorism, and anti-Semitic. We have also begun to receive messages saying that the mayor supported those who caused 9-11. It was the, the most poorly managed public forum I've ever seen. Holly Thier is a council member for the town of Tiburon and attended the meeting, or tried to. The council chamber quickly filled to capacity and she was one of many people who were not allowed in to express their views on the resolution. Eduardo Martinez will go down in history as the most anti-Semitic mayor uh, ever. And he has divided not only his community, but he has made his own residents feel unsafe and unwelcome. A few days later, we caught up with Martinez as he attended a Palestinian protest rally in San Francisco and asked about the heat he had been getting lately. A lot of people said that putting, putting this resolution on, uh, on the agenda was divisive, but I remind them that the division was there before that happened. And what it did was it exposed the wound that we're all sharing and that the only way that a wound can heal is by exposing it so that we know what it is. The conflict in Israel is now an open wound in Richmond. It's causing a lot of debate, but the question is, is it really changing any minds?